This video will cover the proper best use of ice box refrigeration aboard recreational vessels while cruising. Captain and mate Farmer have both had commercial and recreational cruising experience. They have over 50 years of training and onboard experience to share with the cruising community. They are providing these free videos to encourage more people to enjoy cruising. Most recreational cruising vessels have some form of ice box aboard or cool food storage and they are usually sized in quarts or cubic feet. Ice box sizes vary widely from boat to boat. Some are only adequate for short day cruises, while others can help with extended cruises away from marinas and ice supplies. Ice boxes used for perishable food storage need to be kept below 40 degrees Fahrenheit but drink coolers can be allowed to warm up when ice is limited. Ice boxes should have removable coated wire racks to keep food out of the melt water. They also need a drain to remove water when adding more ice. Stackable side vintage storage containers are best for organizing and prioritizing stored food in an ice box. Block ice may be hard to find, but it lasts longer than cubed ice that has a larger exposed surface area. Added icebox insulation to increase its R value is the best way to limit ice melting speed and prolong cooling. Styrofoam sheets and grate stuff can increase the R value of icebox walls. Add as much as possible up to about 6 inches thick. One pound of ice consumes 144 BTUs when it melts, but it only takes one BTU to raise water's temperature one degree Fahrenheit. Ice is much better than cold water for cooling. R value is a measure of heat transfer resistance. It is equal to the temperature difference, square feet of wall insulation, and it's measured in BTU per hour. Approximate calculations shown here indicate that for an R value of 15, 5 pounds of ice might last one day. Adding a couple of partially filled milk jugs of frozen water assists with cooling and provides cool drinking water to help keep you hydrated. Opening a 40 degree ice box introduces a 90 degree slug of air that melts ice much faster. The cool melt water can help a little, but don't let it get into your food. Place your most perishable items like meat lower near the ice so they will stay cooler. Sandwich and snack food should be placed in labeled containers 
near the top for quick access. If eggs are kept in the bilge or for longer periods of time, crack them individually and check for spoilage before use. Fruits and fresh vegetables can be stored in hammocks to conserve icebox space and wine keeps well in the bilge area. Serious cruisers that are away from ice replacement for extended times may want to consider a refrigeration for their ice boxes. Air cool refrigeration is what you use at home, but it burns battery capacity and heats up your saloon. Seawater cool refrigeration is more efficient and discharges heat into the surrounding water. The most efficient and convenient refrigeration is a cold plate unit. You freeze the plate and then it keeps the ice box cold without more battery drain. You can freeze the cold plate by running the engine to top up your house bank and heat water for showering and washing. With a generator or shore power, you can freeze the plate quickly. Cruisers should establish a cruising schedule consistent with crew capabilities and limitations. Crews should participate in all schedule planning. Careful navigation planning and weather checking leads to a more relaxed and enjoyable cruise for everyone. Obtain and load a mobile marine service indicator for your VHF digital selective calling radio. Ensure that the crew knows how to use the radio in emergency and have a mayday script for your boat when needed. Comfortable cruising takes practice, but it's not difficult. Start small, but start now and begin enjoying river cruising. Thanks for watching and we hope this video has provided some ideas about ice boxes aboard a cruiser. Check out our website at sailingtoucan.org for more free videos.